Hey and welcome back. I thought today I'd go over some of my editing equipment I use to make films here on YouTube. I have a background as a broadcast television editor and mainly I use Avid Media Composer, but that's not the best for YouTube, mainly because it's so expensive. So I use Final Cut Pro, or actually it's been renamed as F. CP. The new version is 10.5.1 and it's jolly good. Let me explain why. Final Cut Pro is a piece of Apple software so it only runs on a Mac but that's a good thing when you have the new Mac Mini M1. For many years I would edit on my MacBook Pro probably you know a good two or three thousand dollars worth of equipment but the Mac Mini is 600 bucks and works probably, I think, up to 10 times faster. The base model comes with only 8 gigabytes of RAM, but that's perfectly suitable for HD projects for YouTube. If you're working in 4K or above, you probably want to consider the 16 gigabyte version of the Mac Mini. So what peripherals do I use to make a YouTube film? Well, you need a decent microphone and I really like this. This is a Zoom H1. It's a digital stereo recorder that records onto micro SD cards. Excellent. I'm not a big fan of mice, but I really like the Apple Magic Touchpad. It lets you navigate on Final Cut Pro very easily. So what about storage and what about monitors? Well, my monitor is a low cost but good quality 4K monitor without speakers and it works great. And for sound monitoring, I use a decent pair of powered speakers which sound wonderful. The Mac Mini does come in for some criticism because the lack of ports it has. Well, I think it's fine. It has two USB-C or Apple Thunderbolt ports, which are ideal for connecting external drives. And another two USB 3 ports that you can use for keyboards or external devices. It also comes with an HDMI port to hook up your monitor. Because it's so fast, I've gone with an SSD external drive to back up my work. So the camera I'm shooting on today is a Canon 80D, which uses a standard SD card, and the Mac Mini has no SD card port. So I got a decent USB-C card reader, and it's also super fast. It of course reads the card directly onto the SSD drive. Everything about the Mac Mini is super fast and low cost. Let's run over some January 2021 prices to give you an idea. Monitor, about 400. Mac Mini, about 700. The external one terabyte SSD card, about 100. Double that for two terabytes. The Apple Magic Trackpad is rather expensive at over 100, but it's worth it and get a decent pair of powered speakers because remember, films are 80% sound. I also use a GoPro 7 Black. I know there's newer models, but this seems to work really well as a second camera. And for voice recording, a personal mic works best. So I hope that was a good introduction to the kit that I use. In all, I would say it's a couple of grand's worth of editing kit, well, worth it. And if you're an existing Final Cut Pro user but decide to upgrade to a Mac Mini, the upgrade to the latest software which is 10.5.1, it's free and it comes with a great feature. You can now export directly into a YouTube suitable file. This speeds up your upload to YouTube and seems to be of excellent quality. So do you have any questions? Leave them in the comments below and I'd love to answer anything that you want to know about what I have and how I make it work. Because the truth is out there.